In Mariupol, medics are desperate to save their patients. We ask, we beg, this doctor says, to be given the chance to save the lives of injured fighters by evacuating them. 2,000 soldiers and as many as 1,000 civilians are holed up here in the besieged Azovstal steel plant. The wives of some of Mariupol's Ukrainian defenders had been evacuated to safety in Italy, where they now plead for the evacuation of their husbands. We think that uh, Mariupol uh, have to have a chance, and uh, not uh, only civils. We come here to rescue uh, alive soldiers too, uh, because um, But Russia's foreign minister blames the Ukrainians for the humanitarian crisis. There is only one problem. Humanitarian corridors, which are being announced on a daily basis, are ignored by the Ukrainian ultranationals. But there is no evidence that is true. In fact, Russian aircraft were bombing the steel plant again Saturday. Russia also sent missiles towards Odessa in southwestern Ukraine on the Black Sea coast. Ukrainian officials say a missile hit the airport and has put a runway out of commission. In the northeast, in and around Kharkiv, Ukrainian forces attacked Russians. This video, provided by the Ukrainian military, is set to show Ukrainian forces destroying Russian military assets. But Russia launched at least three strikes on the industrial complex in Kharkiv. No deaths or injuries were reported. 